relation between relation between molality molality m and molarity capital m we can calculate the relation between molarity and molarity when the density is given if the density of solution is given in this condition we can write a formula molarity equals to capital m this is molarity divided by 1000 d minus capital m into m not m not is the molecular mass of solute multiply by 1000 this formula we can use when the density of the solution is given so here capital m equals to molarity m not equals to molecular mass of solute and d is density density of solution in gram per milliliter now another relation is another relation is relation between molarity and mole fractions that means relation between molarity a small m and mole fraction fraction and yes we take the mole fraction of solute mole fraction of solute that means here we are taking mole fraction of solute is xb in this condition we can give a formula that is molality equals to mole fraction of solute divided by 1 minus mole fraction of solute multiply 1000 divided by ma here ma is here ma is molecular mass of solvent this relation gives the molarity this relation this is the relation between molarity and mole fraction of solute the so way in the questions molarity is calculated and the mole fraction is given in that conditions we can calculate the questions with the help of this equation now another relation is if the density of the solution is given that means 
d equals to density of solution in gram per milliliter is given and percentage of suppose x percentage of mass of solute is given in that conditions we can calculate the molarity the formula of molarity will be x the percentage which is given multiply by d the density of the solution into 10 divided by ma where ma is molar mass of solute molar mass of solute so this relation is used where x percent is mass of solute is given and the density of the solution is given now another relation is relation between molarity and mole fractions so another relation is between molarity capital M and the mole fraction mole fraction for this we can write a relation that is capital M this is the molarity of the solution equals to Xp here Xp is the mole fraction of the solute into 1000 into D where D is the density of the solution divided by Xa this is the mole fraction of solvent into Ma this is the mole molecular mass of solvent plus Xb is the mole fraction of solute into Mb that is the molecular mass of the solute here we can uh, write the uh, details about Xa so Xa equals to mole fraction of solvent this is mole fraction of solvent Xb is mole fraction of solute Ma is the molecular mass of solvent and Mb is the molecular mass of solute and D is the density of solution in gram per milliliter. So these are the relation between the molarity and the mole fraction. Now another term is what will be the molarity in the dilution so now molarity that is capital M of dilution 
in the case of dilution we can calculate the molarity of the two system and that will be equals to m1 v1 equals to m2 v2 here there are two solution this is first and this is second when we dilute the one solution we get the another second solution in that conditions the molarity of the first solution is m1 and the volume of the first solution is v1 another second solution the molarity of the second solution is m2 and volume is v2 in that conditions we can calculate one value with the help of this formula m1 v1 equals to m2 v2 now what will be the molarity when we make a mixture when suppose one solution is mixed into another solution in that condition what will be the molarity of the solution that means resultant molarity so that means molarity of mixing yeah mixture in that conditions we can give a formula m1 v1 plus m2 v2 plus m3 v3 equals to mr that is the resultant of the mixture into v1 plus v2 plus v3 with the help of this formula we can calculate the resultant that means mr is the resultant molarity of mixture okay so now another relation to so another relation for the normality what will be the normality when the conditions is dilution when we dilute the solution in that condition what will be the normality so another is normality of dilution that means normality of dilution in that conditions we take a relations like the molarity but here we take the a1 b1 is the equals to n2 v2 here n1 is the normality of the first solution and n2 is the normality of the uh, sorry the volume of the first system like this n2 is the normality of another system and v2 is the normality of another solution in that conditions we can calculate any volume if n1 v1 n2 is given in that condition we can calculate the v2 now the normality for the mixture so another is normal lity of mixture when we may mix two solution in that conditions what will be the normality of the resultant solution that will be normality of mixture equals to na va 
that means this indicates this is the normality of acidic solution and this is the normality of the uh, acidic solution sorry this is the volume of the acidic solution plus another is and b is the normality of the basic solution and bv the volume of the basic solution here yeah, base divided by volume of the acid plus volume of the base so with the help of this formula we can calculate the normality of the mixture now another relation is normality of the mixture of two or more than two or more than two acids and base so now normality normality of a mixture of two or more acids or bases here this will be a stone in that conditions we can tell that the given solution will be neutral acidic or basic if condition is like this and a b a equals to and b b b that means normality of the acids and the volume of the acids equals to normality of the base and the volume of the base when this will be equals that conditions mixes will be neutral if the mill equivalent this is also called the mill equivalent so if the value of na va greater than nb vb in that conditions the resultant n will be n a v a minus n b b v divided by v a plus v v and here the resultant solutions will be acidic acidic now another relation is if n a v a value is less than n a v b in that conditions solution will be basic and we can calculate the resultant normality of the solutions like n r equals to n a sorry n b n b v b minus n a v a divided by v a plus v b so this relations will be give the resultant normality of the mixture and also tells about the nature of the solutions which solutions will be acidic which will be basic and which will be neutral now we can take an examples on this formula so now the question is question is what volume what 
volume of water must be added must be added to 0 0.5 liter of 10 n acid solution to make it exactly it exactly 0 0.5 in solution this is the questions here volume of the first solution is given now normality of the first yeah, original solution is given and the normality of the second solution is given the question is we have to calculate the volume of the second solution so for this we have to apply the relation of the normality of dilution for this relation is n1 v1 equals to n2 v2 here n1 is given that is 10 and v1 is given that is 0 0.5 liter here we have to convert this liter into milliliter that means this will be 500 milliliter equals to n2 is given for this that is 0 0.5 and here we have to calculate the added amount that means here we have to let added amount in this volume is vcc then after solving this uh, relations we will find that vcc equals to 9 thousand cc that means 9.0 liter this is the answer of this question now another is stoichiometry calculations how can we calculate the mass of reactants and mass of products here volume of reactant and volume of product according to the given reaction here for the calculation before the starting this topic we will like discuss to some terms that means that is as geometry calculation There are two parts of the stoichiometric calculation. One is gravimetric analysis, that is gravimetric analysis, and another is volumetric analysis. Volumetric analysis. In the gravimetric analysis, we can calculate about the many types of the reactions like decomposition of compounds, displacement reactions. Displacement reaction, 
action of acid on metals action of acids on metals and simple valence chemical equation involving weight that means this weight will be for the solid and volume and this volume will for the gas relationship so this part will be covered by the gravimetric analysis but in the volumetric analysis we study about the neutralization and redox titration so here neutralization and redox titration now we will try to discuss about the gravimetric analysis so first before starting this point i want to discuss about some points regarding the valence chemical equation which type of the information we can obtain from the valence equation suppose we have equations nacl that gives na plus plus cl minus this is a type of the decompositions here nacl decompose into na plus and cl minus here which type of the information we can obtain from this reactions first of all we see that this reaction is balanced or not so here one atom of the sodium is there and here also one atom that means the number of atoms of the left side is equals to the number of atoms of the right side in that conditions this equation is a balance that means suppose this is the one mole of nacl so that gives one mole of na plus and one mole of cl minus that means if you will take two moles of nacl it will be give two mole of na plus and also two mole of cl minus okay so we can relate this equations here one mole nacl is equivalent to one mole na plus and that is equivalent to one mole of cl minus we can take another examples another example is <coughs> cl cl2 when this breaks it gives ca positive 2 charge plus 2 chloride ions here this is one mole ca plus 2 is also one mole but there is two mole of chloride ions that means we can say that the decomposition of one mole of cacl2 is giving here one mole of ca plus 2 and two moles of cl minus so if we will take here four mole of cacl2 so it will be give four 
moles of Ca plus 2 and 8 moles of Cl minus. So this gives the relation about the moles, moles, moles. So on the basis of this concept, we can calculate the relations, uh, calculate the amount of reactant and product. Now we are taking an examples on this concept. Here the question is what question is what weight of KCL will be formed will be formed on hitting twelve point two five gram of KCL three and we have also calculate weight of O2 that will be liberated and also calculate weight of O2 that will be liberated. So here data is given this is the data and we have to calculate the weight of KCL that will be formed and the volume your yeah, weight sorry the weight of O2 that will be liberated so according to questions first we have to write the equations chemical equations and that chemical equations should be balanced that means when this KCL O3 will be break it will be give KCL and the oxygen in this reactions KNC is balanced but O2 is not balanced here there is two atoms of the oxygen and here three atoms of the oxygen then first we have to balance this equation to multiply two so it will be give 2 KCL and it will be give 3 O2. Now we can take a relations. Okay. So this is 2 mole. That means 2 moles of KCLO3 will be give 2 moles of KCL and 3 moles of O2. We have to calculate this in the terms of the weight. So first we have to calculate the moles of the KCL. If you know the moles of the KCL, with the help of this we can calculate the weight of KCL. So now moles of KCL O3 is equals to given mass and that given mass is 12.25 divided by the molecular mass of KCL O3 and this is 122.5 after calculation that will be 0.1 mole this is the mole of the KCL now 2 mole of the KCL we have to uh, make the relations 2 moles of the KCL3 gives 2 moles of the KCL that means 2 moles of KClO3 gives ya yeah, equivalent to 2 moles of KCl then 
what will be the amount of the KCL when 0.1 mole of the KCL will be used then on 1.1 moles of KClO3 will be equivalent to 2 moles of KCL into 0.1 divided by 2. Now, then we can solve this here that is equals to 2 divided by 2 into 0 0.1 and the mass of 1 mole of KCL is 74.5 that is equals to 0 0.1 into 74.5 and the value will be 7.45 gram KCL will be formed. So our first step of the questions is solved. Now another step. Ki what will be the weight of the oxygen that will be liberated if the same amount, same moles of the KClO3 will be used. Then make the relation similar similar similarly now 2 moles of KClO3 is equivalent to 3 moles of O2 then 0 0.1 then 0 0.1 moles of KCLO3 will be equivalent to 3 by 2 into 0 0.1 and the molecular mass of the oxygen is 32 so that will be give the value 4.8 gram of oxygen that means 1 mole of the 0 0.1 mole of KCLO3 will liberate 4.8 gram of oxygen and formed 7.45 gram of KCL. Now, this another concept uh, we have another concept and that is is limiting reagent. So now the another concept is. concept of concept of limiting reagent now how many types of reagent in the reactions so before starting this point I want to discuss about the types of reagent. There are two types of the reagent. There are two types of reagent and that is one is access reagent 
and another is limiting reagent what is the difference between the axis and the limiting reagent in the reactions axis means the reagent which is not consumed completely which is not consumed completely but the meaning of the limiting reagent is which consumed completely during the reactions that means the reagent which consume completely during the reaction is limiting reagent and the reagent that remains during the chemical reactions that is uh, excess reagent we can also give another point regarding this that means ki if the required amount of the reagent is less than the given amount in that conditions that reagent will be also excess that means required amount of reagent is less than given amount this is also called experimental amount in that condition it is also excess reagent and for the limiting it will be just reverse that means required amount is greater than given amount in that conditions this will be limiting reagent another point is we have to cal uh, calculate the limiting reagent on the basis of the amount of product the reagent which gives more amount of the product that will be excess reagent and the reagent that gives less amount of the product that will be the limiting reagent that means gives more amount of product and that gives less amount of product less amount of product but remember in the case of limiting reagent when the limiting reagent will be consumed the reactions will be stopped in that conditions the maximum amount of the product will be depends upon the limiting reagent and this conditions the maximum amount of the products will be same that will be given by the limiting reagent that means that will be the maximum amount of the product so this is the concept regarding the limiting reagent in the any reactions we can calculate the amount of the product on the given amount of the uh, excess uh, reagent and the limiting reagent which will be give more amount that will be excess and which will be give 
less amount of the product that will be the limiting reagent. Next is volumetric analysis and the neutralization, volumetric analysis and the subtopic is neutralization. In the neutralization, when the acid and base they will be react a strong acid and a strong base when it will be react that type of the reaction is called neutralizations and in that conditions at equivalent point equivalence point gram equivalent or milli equivalent of acid that is gram equivalent or milli equivalent of acid is equals to gram equivalent or milli equivalent of base or milli equivalent of base that means here gram equivalent ya mil equivalent means gram equivalent means normality and the volume product when you multiply normality with the volume when it will be in liter in that conditions it will be gram equivalent but if we multiply the volume in milliliter with the normality that will be the milli equivalent that means here gram equivalent of acid is na va equals to nb for the base and vb for first conditions suppose ki we if ga gram of an acid is neutralized by a base in that conditions we can write this ga divided by equivalent weight of acid multiply 1000 equals to n a v sorry n b and b b when the ga gram of the acid is neutralized by a base but when the gb gram of the base is neutralized by an acid in that conditions we take this relation that will be gb divided by eb eb is the equivalent mass of the base multiply 1000 equals to n a and n sorry and v b so this is the relations about the neutralization now the another concept is principle of atom conservation we know that what is the meaning of the conservation so now concept is very important concept in this concept there is no need to balance the any type of chemical equation without the balance chemical equations we can calculate the relation between mass 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 volume and volume volume relationship so another is principle of atom conservation conservation principle of atom conservation it is also known as p o a c in the chemical reactions atoms are conserved so the moles of atom cell also be conserved that's why this is called the principle of atom conservation 
In these reactions, with the help of these reactions, we can calculate mass mass relationship mass volume relationship 